November 1973, short and English junior grade. Get ready for the dictation. 10 seconds. 5 seconds. Start. Ladies and gentlemen, let me at the outset thank you very sincerely on behalf of my wife and myself for the very kind welcome you have given to us this evening. You have referred in generous terms to my past record of service in my hometown. I may on this occasion state that we are second to none in our earnest desire to serve our country to the best of our ability. It is my fond hope that I will be able to be of some service to this state and its people. I wish to request you not to treat us as strangers from some other distant state, but to treat us as one among you. You have referred in your address to the several problems which concern you and your civic body. Primarily, you have mentioned about the drinking water supply scheme and the need for construction of some small dams across the two rivers that flow through your town. You have also stated in your address that you have already approached the government in this connection, but nothing has been done so far. As you very well know, it is part and parcel of a governor's duty to patiently listen to such representations from the people. Somebody has even said elsewhere that it is the only duty which a governor of a state has to perform. I am sure you know well that all these matters have really to be decided by the ministers who are in charge of the respective departments. However, I assure you that I will pass your representations on to them and they will receive very careful and sympathetic considerations at their hands. Mr. Chairman, you have also referred to the food problem in this state in general. As you know very well, the government have now decided to reimpose some controls. If these controls are to be really successful, the government will naturally have to rely in a very large measure on the support of the people at large. Without their full support and willing cooperation, food controls in my view are bound to meet with failure. Therefore, I take this opportunity to make a sincere appeal to you to extend every help and assistance you can to the officers 
concerned in the enforcement of these controls black marketing can never succeed if every person is determined not to encourage it salem 21st may 1973 mrs velan electricals limited 4 bos road madurai dear sirs we are in respect of your letter it is indeed a matter of regret to us that our negligence has given you some inconvenience you are aware that in the past many years we have supplied your requirements carefully we very much value the interests of our customers and we take all steps necessary to satisfy them to the maximum extent possible it is therefore our duty to explain the various reasons which have given room for your complaint our business manager who is in full charge of the orders received from your district has been absent for some time due to illness during his absence the work which he was doing was entrusted to another member of our staff as this is a busy season it is quite likely that some mistake might have been committed due to oversight yours very truly